Like humans, footwear or hoofwear is critical to ensure good health and proper alignment in horses. And that's where farriers come into play. Yeah, it's believed farriers date as far back as ancient times. And although they haven't been around that long, Casey and Sons Farrier School in Walker County is the only horseshoeing school in the entire state of Georgia. And as I found out recently, students come from thousands of miles away to learn a skill that can lead to endless opportunities. Metal grinding, hammers banging, and the smell of hot iron cooling. For a farrier, these are the sights and sounds of the trade. A trade many feel is a dying art. Yeah, I came from a small farm town, so we always were on horses and we always were around animals and stuff like that. So I spent some time in the Army and wanted to get back to those kind of roots. So this is the best way to do it, was come here and shoe horses. At least I get a trade out of it and get to work with the animals that I like to work with. I've had students from everywhere in the world. I've had at least one person from every single country in the world, Jamaica, Australia, Germany, Ireland, Scotland every country you can name. I had one guy from Japan. That was the only guy I had from Japan. Established in 1989, Casey and Son offers both a six and 12 week program with the objective of teaching its students the proper shoeing of both a normal horse as well as the problematic horse. Everything from cold shoeing to hot shoeing and even corrective shoeing. Thermal imaging is also a part of the curriculum which shows the effects of shoeing from the inside out. As Link Casey explains, the facility isn't your average classroom. Along with the Casey and Son Horseshoe and School here, we have the Farriers National Research Center, which is the only farrier research center in the world. So it's located here in Villanelle, Georgia. So now it's not equine science, it's farrier science, which farrier science is, is the, the research of the lower limb of the horse. We don't do anything veterinary work, you know, as far as pregnancy or floating teeth, anything like that. Um, but with the research, what where started the research was when dad started the school in 89 and 90, a lot of his students were asking him questions that he didn't have the answer for. So that's what got him to do in the research on what this shoe does, what that shoe does. And uh, throughout the years, and the concept of shoeing horses has evolved in the last 30, 40 years. Putting the shoe on the horse hadn't changed for the last thousand years, but knowing what the shoe does, what this horse needs this particular shoe, that horse needs this particular shoe, what lameness is and so on and so forth has really evolved in the last 30 or 40 years from the research that's been done here. Now as far as opportunities, once a student leaves Casey and Son, the sky's the limit really. According to the American Horse Council, the economic impact of the horse industry is close to $40 billion annually, which translates to the demand for good farriers. And with hard work and dedication, a good farrier can easily earn a six-figure income. Oh, it would be nice, yes. You know, it's just something you got to work towards, you know. Uh, I'll be here for the 12-week course, and then I'll stay for the advanced course and get a little bit longer uh, experience since I'm a little bit later in the game starting this. Farrier work is one of the last free trades that you could really think of nowadays. Um, there's no license to be a farrier, which is great. There shouldn't, ha shouldn't have to be a license to be a farrier. You can travel to any state in the country, you can travel to any country in the world, and you can shoe horses. And there's all different levels of farrier work. There's backyard horses, uh, and then there's million dollar horses, and there's all different levels of farriers. You have farriers that work with the backyard horses, and then you have your, your top notch million dollar farriers that work on race horses, and hunter jumpers, and dressage horses, reining horses, so on and so forth. But it's, it, it is not all uncommon to make six figures a year.